Hey there, Highland Middle School students. This is Mr. Coles, your favorite and only seventh grade dean, here with your HMS Minute, probably the longest minute of your life. I'm here with... Hey, good morning, Highland Middle School. Very excited that you guys get to see me today. Mrs. Holiday is missing you. I'm sure you guys are missing me walking around asking for your cell phones. A um, very important message to start out today from your counselors. They are definitely here for you during this unusual time. They have created a resource page for you through a Canvas, um, through their Canvas. You will be able to access this page by going to the website or by emailing Mrs. Cheetah or Mrs. Wicker. Once you get on the page, lots of resources for e-learning and self-care. Okay, students, we know how much you're relying on your Chromebooks right now, and there can still be issues with those Chromebooks, even when we're not here in the buildings physically. So if you have a problem with your Chromebook that you need to get fixed, you can go to the administration building, 1600 Hillcrest Avenue. That's on Tuesdays and Thursdays from noon to two. Take your Chromebook, take everything with you so that they can either fix it, or if you qualify one, you can get a loaner. Uh, if you're a new student, then you need to make sure you're, you've been enrolled for at least three days before you can even pick up a Chromebook, but you would go to the same place. Um, if you do show up there to get a Chromebook fixed, just one person goes in, preferably a parent, just one parent. Um, if we do assign you a loaner and you don't return it in seven days, so basically a week, it's gonna get disabled. So make sure that you're in communication with uh, the Chromebook repair people, the central office with that, so that you're always on top of that and you always have a Chromebook that works. And now to my colleague, Mrs. Holiday. All right, students, just a couple more reminders. We wanna make sure that you have all the support you need during this very strange time of school online. Um, for technology issues that are not just your actual device, you can always go to the ACS Tech Help Desk. That's ACS Tech Help Desk at acsc.net. 21st Century Scholars, so important, so important for seventh graders, vitally important for eighth graders. Your last chance eighth graders to enroll will be June 30th of this year. You've got to be enrolled before June 30th. Please go to learnmoreindiana.org backslash scholars to enroll if you have not already done this. And for anything that comes up that you're not quite sure how to handle, you need some assistance with, you need some contact with, you may use the HMS Dean line. The phone number is 765-273-3090. This reaches Mrs. Holiday and Mr. Coles. Next, we have a very special guest star here to talk to us about meals that are being provided by Anderson Community Schools. I'm here with our special guest, Mr. Stecker. We're practicing our social distancing. And we were just gonna ask him some questions about, about what's been going on at Highland during this time. So Mr. Stecker, first of all, can you talk to us a little about uh, how are the meals being distributed and how does that work in case someone needs to know that? Well, the, the newest addition of our meals being distributed are, we are doing bus routes and the bus routes take place between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock and they are going to be a continuous bus route throughout that time. So if you want a meal, please be out in the uh, road near your bus stop, um, pick up a meal off a bus. If you're not at your bus stop and you see a bus going down the road, go ahead and flag it down and you'll be able to pick up a meal. On Mondays, you'll get two days worth of meals. And then on Wednesdays, the last round of the week, you'll get three days worth of meals. So again, be at your bus stop, It'll be a continuous route between 10 and 12, uh, and you'll be able to get your meal. Another thing that we're doing for meals is that if a bus does not come near your house, but you have a way to get to either Anderson High School or Highland Middle School, from 12 to one o'clock, you can come to either one of those schools and pick up a meal on those days, Mondays and Wednesdays. Well, also, Mrs. Holiday, and I, and I want to take an opportunity here to thank you because I do believe it is Assistant Principals Week. And, and as you are the Assistant Principal here, we appreciate everything you do. Uh, with that in mind, can you tell me what have you been doing in the building? What have the principals been doing while it's been closed? What happens in the building? Uh, just give us some insight and yeah. in what's been going on here. Yeah, thanks for the recognition. I appreciate that. Um, as an assistant principal, what I've been doing here lately is I've been coming in in the mornings and working with the cafeteria workers, preparing meals for the students. Uh, we've had 
had some faculty coming in also to do that. So I want to I thank those volunteers for helping the cafeteria workers. Um, a shout out to the cafeteria workers. If you could, it would be greatly appreciated if you could email Sarisa Key, C K E Y at ACSC.net and give a big shout out and a thank you to those ladies who are coming in during this time and, and risking some of their health to provide meals for you guys. Um, some other things that we've been doing here at Highland uh, in the mornings for a short period of time is answering your guys' emails. Um, I've been checking uh, the building, making sure everything in the building is, is safe and secure. Um, a couple questions that I wanted to bring up too is that uh, I've had quite a few students email me about what can they do about their belongings that may be in their locker. Um, at this time, uh, we are trying to come up with a plan of waiting on a good date that we can come in and get your stuff out of the lockers without compromising a lot of people at one time. So I would say here in probably three to four weeks, there may be some information coming out on the website or an email um, given to you or provided to you that will give you more information on that. But don't worry about any stuff that's in your lockers. It's all secure. There's nobody in the, in the building that will be in your lockers. Um, those, those are just some things that we've been doing and just helping out and uh, trying to help this whole situation in any way we can. And I know that just because we're not in the building, it's not like the care for the building has to stop. So can you tell us a little bit about all the hard work that custodial staff and cleaning staff have been doing? That first week that we were off, uh, the custodial staff was in everybody's room, each classroom, uh, doing a deep clean. Um, sanitizing desks, chairs, and that, that type of thing, doing a lot of sweeping, uh, making it as safe as we can when we come back. And I believe the plan will be that we'll do that every so often, uh, just to make sure that we've cleaned up every classroom that we can and, and keep, keep them sanitized. Uh, the custodians have done a great job. They had a check-off sheet, all of them checked everything off. So um, hopefully um, we can clean the building to a point to where we don't have to worry about that. But again, we will continue to work on that. So that's another big shout out to the custodians for doing some extra work and extra hard work. Absolutely. Well, Mr. Stegger, I wanna, I wanna thank you for being here with us on the HMS Minute. Um, in a minute here, we're going to uh, play a little game. This is Holiday on IR. Would you be able to stick around and judge, judge for us on that? Yes, I can. I'd be glad to. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you being here. No problem. Thanks for the invite. You're welcome. All right, now is the time in the show, everybody's favorite part, where Mrs. Holiday and I are going to play a little game we call Dad Jokes. I get three dad jokes. She gets three dad jokes. If either one of us laugh, the other person gets a point, whether you laugh when someone you're telling it or you laugh at the joke. Mr. Stecker is hanging out. He's the judge of whether or not somebody laughs. He'll also be keeping score. All right, Coles, what concert costs just 45 cents? 50 cent, featuring Nickelback. Hey, you wanted to though, I saw it kind of though. No love there, all right. All right, come on, bring it, I'm still so on Jackson. Turn. Yep. So Stecker, get ready to count this. She's gonna laugh. Gotcha. What is Beethoven's favorite fruit? No idea. A banana. <laughs> Oh, count that. Come on. I count it. <laughs> One nothing, baby. One nothing. Go ahead. Well, hold on. Ready. I'm trying to find another good one. You better make it a good one. Okay. All right. I got you. Let's do it. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Coles, yeah. what do sprinters eat before a race? I have no idea. Nothing. They fast. Seriously? Quit holding your breath. You have to I'm breathe. Not breath. I'm not holding my breath. I'm sorry, I'm so good at this, I guess. God, thank God at home they think I'm funny. Mrs. Holiday, what did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? I'm 80. Nothing. Nothing. I thought that okay. was a good one. That's that was hilarious. Good. All right, so, Coles, how many apples grow on a tree? Wait, are you ready? Okay. That's a laugh. That's a laugh. Two, no two, two to nothing. Two to nothing, Mr. Coles. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this is my. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait, let me, let me figure out which one I want to go to. Wait, I just laughed. It's my turn. Oh, that, that's. Oh. No, I laughed on my own joke. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
we go. Are you ready? Yeah. What did the buffalo say to his son when he dropped him off at school? Bye-bye. Bison. Get it, buffalo, bison. That's a, that's, that's a bad joke. Not a dad joke, but a bad joke. Just a bad joke. All Just bad a bad joke. joke. I'm winning 2 nothing. That, that was, was my third joke. You really can't win, but let's go ahead and show everybody how good I am at this anyway. Can it be like a finale? Can I just start rapid fire at you? Sure. Hey, you want to hear a joke about construction? Yeah. Okay, I'm still working on it. How Darth Vader know what Luke got him for Christmas? He felt his presence. Somebody you know what to call somebody Wars. with nobody and no nose? so many people in the background doing so many different things to keep everything functioning around us. Um, the cafeteria workers and all the teacher volunteers and everybody helping out with uh, putting meals together uh, and distributing those meals. The bus drivers and our transportation department, thank you so much for getting all of this um, great food, the information the kids need out to the communities. Teachers putting all the lesson plans together making everything become digital at the last minute, basically transforming your lessons in your classroom at the last second to make to help you be successful. And to our administrators for all of the things that they are doing to ensure that all of the faculty, all of the students are safe as well as learning. And there is no way this Grammy Award winning show is possible without the man behind the camera, Mr. Brown, our seventh grade science teacher. We appreciate him. Appreciate everything he's doing right now, all the coaching and everything else that he does on the side as well. Mr. Brown is awesome. And students, students, we appreciate you and all you're doing. Remember, please keep up on your e-learning. There's some things you can do at home to help the situation out. Do your e-learning, help your parents in any way. And then one good thing to do is continue to exercise. All right, go out and take a jog. Go out and do some sit-ups. Do whatever you can at an at-home workout. Stay active, and I guarantee that will help you with your time at home. What does your exercise routine look like, Mr. Speck? Well, my exercise routine, I've got a gym at home, a uh, workout stations that I do. Okay. I approximately do about two sit-ups a day, two push-ups a day. Um, it no, shows. I, 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 I thought when I saw you, I thought you looked a little leaner. Yes. I'm, right. I'm glad you noticed. I did noticed. notice. I and did by notice. the way, uh, social distancing is supposed to be six foot apart. If you can tell, if we put out our arms, that's six, that's six foot. Put out your arm, Mr. Coles. All right, here we go. Yeah, right. so we're all six feet apart. And practice social distancing. Wear a mask if you want. Uh, Wash your hands. Yeah. Wash your hands, yes. And, so, on, uh, and on, on behalf of Mrs. Holiday, Mr. Stecker, and Mr. Brown, we all want to thank you for turning in, tuning in to season one, episode one of the Highland Middle School Minute, the longest minute of your life. It was a long minute. In ours. Yes. Stay classy, Anderson.